Recently, Huda Paton, the owner of Huda Beauty, has come under fire for her treatment of a smaller TikTok creator who goes by Mina. Mina is a smaller TikTok creator, and this past week, she was thrilled when the official account of Huda Beauty, the makeup brand run by Huda Paton, had DM'd her over on her Instagram. Huda's DM read, Hi beautiful, we absolutely love this post, and we'd love your permission to share it. This post that Huda or her team, or whoever wrote out this message was referencing a video where Mina made a makeup tutorial where she put on different color correctors as a way to substitute foundation. According to BuzzFeed News, Mina had said, I was so excited that someone at her level who represents me as a Muslim and woman of color in the beauty industry and is very established would come to know about my existence and that I would get featured on such a large platform. So of course, Mina being the small creator, makeup creator at that, having the opportunity to be reposted by one of the most accomplished beauty creators in the industry was very thrilling for her. However, when Mina checked her notifications to see what exactly Huda had posted in regards to her TikTok, she was quite shocked, you guys, because this was the way that Huda had reacted to Mina's video. With color correcting, you always want to use orange on the greenish bruise-like spots, then green around all the reddish spots, then I use yellow around where I use the orange spots because it cancels bruise-like areas, and then Girl. it should be good. Okay, we do not need to use that much color corrector. Actually, the whole thing of color correcting is just to put a little bit of color corrector so that you don't see any pigmentation anymore. You don't need to put that much corrector on and then you need to correct your corrector. That doesn't make any sense. It's wasting a lot of product. The points are good, but using that much corrector, uh-uh, unnecessary. We do not need to use that much color corrector. Okay, the next time you roast me or anyone, can you at least give the courtesy of telling us what the video will be about before we agree to letting you post it? Because had I known you were gonna roast me, I would not have let you post it. Because you clearly did not love the video. And you're giving mean girl vibes. Apparently makeup only has rules when it comes to me. That's great. Not only was Mina shocked, but also a lot of other people on social media saying things like there was no need for Huda to be so petty and catty, and they were just not here for her attitude in this video, which was not the only thing she was getting called out for. I wanna point out something about this more from Mina and Huda Beauty issue that I don't think enough people are pointing out. If you want full background info, go check out more from Mina's TikTok. I'm going to show you a comparison about how she approaches Meredith's technique versus Mina's technique, and I find it very interesting. We're doing the Meredith Duxbury foundation application. That's a lot of foundation. Fall. Awesome. So with all of this cream product layered on top of each other, as you get this insane blend. I think when you have a really special occasion, this actually can make you look so flawless. That is beautiful. This really does make everything blend. It's so insane. We're going to try to get out of the brows. Oh my god, it's knocking me on my brows. My skin is hurting, and I feel like my brows are starting to fall out. Final thoughts. Meredith pulls off that makeup like you would not believe, which is why this makeup went viral. For me, this did not work. So like spots, and then green around all the reddish spots. So then I use yellow around where I use the orange spots because it cancels. Girl, and it should be good. Okay, we do not need to use that much color corrector. Actually, the whole thing of color correcting is just to put a little bit of color corrector so that you don't see any pigmentation anymore. You don't need to put that much corrector on, and then you need to correct your corrector. That doesn't make any sense. It's wasting a lot of product. The points are good, but using that much corrector, uh, uh unnecessary. Wasting a lot of product. Meredith pulls off that makeup like you would not believe. Which so not only was Huda getting called out for this TikTok she made criticizing Mina's technique in a what many people thought was ill-mannered tone and basically just insinuating that everything Mina was doing was wrong and that she was wasting product and just all these things, Huda instantly got called out for that all over her comment section as well as her Instagram. Just a lot of people thinking she was being super passive aggressive for no reason, but Huda was predominantly getting called out for not giving the same energy to a TikTok video she did where she tried out Meredith Duxbury's technique. Meredith Duxbury is a much larger creator and one of the things that she's known for is slapping on an absurd amount of foundation on her face in the beginning as a part of her foundation technique. And everyone was just side-eyeing Huda for this, saying that her favoritism was really showing. Some even went out of their way to call Huda out for the unfair treatment towards the people of her own color. But We'll get into that in a bit because a lot of people had some things to say about that. While Mina was gaining a lot of support from the uproar against Huda Beauty, Huda hadn't responded to the backlash until about a day later. She has went over to her TikTok and on her Huda Beauty TikTok page, she has actually since made a statement and she's pretty much publicly apologizing to Mina for her reaction in that video and she also had some other things to say. Okay, my loves, so the other day I did a video 
on TikTok and I was reacting to a content creator by the name of Mina. In the video, she applies corrector in a way that I hadn't seen before. The reaction was just supposed to be like a genuine reaction video. It works for her. It was just my perspective. It was supposed to be a little tongue in cheek because she did not take it that way. She posted this video. Yes. And then Girl. Like, it should be good. Okay. We do not need to use that much color corrector. Okay. The next time you roast me or anyone, can you at least give the courtesy of telling us what the video will be about before we agree to letting you post it. So when I saw her video, I was really upset. First of all, the message should not have said repost, it should have said reaction. Also, I always review my videos before they go up, but this particular time, there was a lot going on and I didn't get a chance to. And when I saw it back, I actually saw it back after it was posted, I was like, oof. Sometimes when you're recording and you're just in a moment, you say things that you don't always mean. And when you get to watch it back, you get to edit that out. And I just didn't get a chance to do that, unfortunately. And I felt really, really bad. So I messaged her and we've been chatting back and forth. I wasn't playing on doing a video but she did ask for me to do one and so I'm gonna share with you guys the messages between both Mina and I and it was really nice to be able to connect with her to be honest you know she's a beautiful person she also apologized saying that yes at the end of the day makeup is all about creativity I felt maybe I offended her technique and that's the last thing I want to do there are no rules to makeup we're not supposed to have rules to makeup there's different application styles and we just have to leave it at that I apologize and I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart and I really do hope that we can get past this the DMs between them after this whole fallout read, Hey Mina, I'm so sorry about the video. To be honest, there was a miscommunication and my team was supposed to tell you that I was going to be doing a reaction. I completely agree with the video you did in response and I honestly felt terrible when I saw the message you received. When I heard your voice in your response video, it really upset me because I felt you were upset or hurt. I'm really sorry if I offended you in any way at all. That's not my intention and I feel terrible that I might have made you feel bad. I hope we can get past this and let me know if you want me to take the video down. Now Mina responded and she said, Hi Huda, now that I'm seeing it's a miscommunication, I feel a lot better about the situation. It struck me a lot because you're someone I look up to a lot as a Muslim and woman of color in the industry. I'm open to getting past this and I don't think the video needs to get taken down, but I think a video that clears up the miscommunication would benefit us. Thank you for reaching out. I appreciate it a lot. And that's exactly what Huda ended up doing. After Mina's request, she ended up making a statement. Now, this other TikToker right here brought up a few other points that she felt like people shouldn't have put a blind eye to. This girl bought the idea of how Huda is Arab and Mina is Pakistani South Asian and that this rung a bell to her. And she expressed how she felt like this is underlying proof that pretty much your own people don't want you to win. But what really is so hypocritical about this situation is that Huda Beauty also did one of Meredith Buxbury's challenge. So basically she just did Meredith Buxbury's foundation routine and if anyone doesn't know Meredith Buxbury is a beauty content creator on TikTok who is known for using an excessive amount of foundation. And it's crazy because Huda Beauty literally did the trend and thought it was so cute and funny and gave not one harsh remark. And it's crazy that she literally took the time out of her day to attack a woman not only was she a woman just like huda it's the fact that she's also a brown woman who is muslim just like her you huda beauty attacked another brown muslim woman that speaks the same language as you arabic and you literally thought that that would be something that made sense but when it was the one white girl that it seems like you want to look up to you literally give her all this praise, but you wouldn't do it to somebody who looks just like you. It's giving very much you're reaching for the white attention, pandering for white acceptance. This is like pure proof that it's your own people. Like they don't want you to win. Like I would expect her cheering her on because they come from similar backgrounds, but I guess not when it comes to, you know, looking to be the token for white people. Anyways, guys, this has been the update with this whole Huda and Mina situation. It's good that they're both on good terms now and that Huda cleared the air. But I want to know what you guys think about this situation in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.